Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Randy. So I actually just finished recording my reaction to episode 5, season 3 of The Boys and I couldn't wait. Um, episode 6 was posted today so we're going to go ahead and check it out. I'm excited so without further ado, here we go. Some scenes may not be suitable for some, really most. Let's be honest, all viewers, but rest assured that any consensual relationships depicted, be they human, animal, superhero, or other, aren't real, harmed no one, and in fact cost a hilariously large amount in visual effects. What on earth are we about to watch? Okie dokie. A little philosophical. Uh, these supervillain attacks, they've affected everyone. It's a YouTube video, look at it. It's YouTube. Mm. Below us, above us, only sky. Imagine Mila Kunis. The Ashton Kutcher. Didn't a bunch of celebrities do this? Is was the Mila Kunis, Ashton Kutcher, this chick, I don't know her name, and the dude in the car. Were those on that? It was a video, I can't remember what it was for. Um. <laughs> what did you guys dance for? It stands for Blow Me. I don't understand. Where has he been? Before me, he was fought. His statue's in front of the fucking building, Ashley. Oh I wonder if Homelander is by default going to be concerned and perceive Soldier Boy as a threat. At the very least, I'm sure he's unsettled, wondering why Soldier Boy is back, why people said he was dead if he wasn't. Like, the questions would be endless. How does this get out? Well, this, I'm gonna find him and kill him. You bury it, all of it. Sounds easy. No one sees it. He fucks it up, it's your head. I wonder what Noir's thinking. Is Noir excited? Did Noir and Soldier Boy get along? Maybe, because they were on a team together. Perhaps Noir is gonna go team up with Soldier Boy. His cup, was that the same first cup as the first two seasons? Because all, like every time now it's showing Noir, which it doesn't really show Noir that much. Uh, but every time it's showing him now, like it's just his crotch. <laughs> Took his tracker out. <laughs> what on earth? Man, I miss Benny's. It's how we won D Day, you know. Benny's? We were wired to the fucking gills. Listen, let's have a little chat. What is yeah, that? What do I need a team for? Like killing Emmanuel Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he grew up a bit since you lost Sword. I mean, the internet? You made those words up. No, those are real words. Uh, and, and you need those to find them. And I'll help you with this Homelander. <sighs> I don't know what he's snorting. <laughs> I need my nose itch. What are Benny's? Why did the photo go to jail? It was framed. I've never seen that. I just, that's where my mind went. You think that Soldier Boy is going after the rest of Payback? Soldier Boy is just getting started. So he's going to be going Do after you know Black Noir. Those shady ass TNT twins got an address in Vermont. Bring Alex is dead, and May. Who's Alex? Oh, Boy Band. His name's Alex. <laughs> I'm just going Boy Band. The girl playing Starlight. She is so pretty. Even the greatest trees. I watched after doing the reaction for the first couple of episodes. I watched them with my husband. And on the first couple of episodes, I was trying to figure out why Starlight looked different. I feel like maybe her hair is a little bit different, but also like her face looked different somehow. My husband said he thinks that she's lost some weight. Let me know in the comments if, if that's the case or not, but something, her face just looks a little bit different. And if she lost weight, I'm curious if that was just the actress lost weight or if they wanted the character to lose weight. I'm just curious as to why something about her is different. Maybe it's not weight, but 
something, something different. But regardless, she's super pretty and the perfect starlight, which has nothing to do with anything related. <laughs> they made the series. <laughs> she's taking pills too. Hey. Oh wow. Now, uh, can we talk about this? Pulling her hair. A lot going on today. She cut her hair too. Didn't she? You know, whatever. I don't need you. My brother is paralyzed. I want some fucking justice. Yeah. Seriously? I would too. You want justice? Yeah. Oh. <sighs> I have spent over a hundred hours in. Go fuck yourself. Tell him, Ashley. Yeah, that's why I said that. She found her balls. Out loud. Please don't hurt her. to Ashley. She has changed so much since season one. She was just uh, uh, scared all the time, but then when she came into a position of power, she sometimes kind of found her balls. Metaphorical, of course. Um, but good on her. It can be hard to be assertive when you need to be and imaginably, if that's a word, even more so when you're speaking to a soup. I don't think she would speak to Homelander that way, but a train is still more capable than she is. <laughs> Homelander's gonna think he he's working with Soldier Boy. He wouldn't run. But I think he's running from Soldier Boy. Away. Well, he wouldn't do that to me. I'm just trying to help. Okay? We're in this together. Right? Okay. She's such an encouraging yeah. wife. When we were kids. Alone in the bad room. What was Soldier Boy's original I got power? It, right? Don't I always finally be who you were always meant to be? Pure, clean. <laughs> he wants to take basically his humanity out, make him kind of cold and somewhat unemotional. Or what would the word be there? That doesn't seem like a good idea. These people! What? What? I'll distract you. That was a communist flag. Fucking unprofessionals is what they are. Hey, uh, yeah, Butcher's gonna find him. What? Does that go up when he gets Slept angry enough. or something? Dads, we know you love taking your baby. Really walk around like that? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Dad's do. Bill Cosby is America's dad. And I'll tell you one thing, he would be caught dead in that pussy gear. Lot to unpack there. Um, <laughs> Holy shit, did he make some strong drinks. But that won't happen again. Right? Only if they got it coming. I'd be really nervous to be around him. Really? After hearing that. Oh, does Soldier Boy know that they're fake? Or maybe he just doesn't care. No, he's watching. Okay. Lord of the Seven Seas. I think Huey's wow. enjoying that way too much. Oh man, I'm such an incredible fan. Cool. Looks outfit. like a sex club. I always felt you got railroaded with that starlight thing, by the way. You know, like what? You're disgusting. <laughs> anyway, we are just so pleased, you know. I'm gonna party? I think it's a sex party. I'm gonna pause it because I bet this is what that warning was for. I could tell from their outfits. It looked like they were having a freaky Freaky fun time. Maybe. I've seen some movies. Um, not those kind of movies, mind you. But <laughs> uh, I figured I would pause because I think we're about to see whatever the warning was for. You? Hey there. She knows about her. The mayor can say anything she wants, but Homelander is the one working to catch the guy. Yeah, look, it's understandable. What kind of a, a nasty question is that? Oh, no, it's fine. I'm happy to answer. Starlight like just said, and I keep saying, this is not a problem. Uh -oh. That would be so uncomfortable. He's just camping with his dad for a couple of days. Liar. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Something, you know, because he was scared I was going to pop his head. Hmm? Not going to hurt you. Or Huey or your families. Besides, you'd lose. How does she um, know that they know? Help. I guess because she hasn't From seen them. the psycho who blew up Congress. You're right. I'm so fucking tired. Of listening to people tell me I need to be shitty. 
in order to win. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'm not doing it anymore. But then I'll know I'm not working with a fucking nut job. <laughs> so either pop my head or get the hell out. Everybody has cojones on this episode. Most of them, anyway. Hey, keep this between us. It'd be really tough to take out America, sweetheart. But not impossible. She made her nose bleed, what, just because she could? As a way of kind of warning her? Well, that's his, uh, girlfriend? Previous girlfriend? I don't know. Miko has nothing to do with it. So French chick, what, took some money or something? And then French dude happened to be around... Happened to be present where some Russian people were killed, but... From what I recall, they weren't exactly employees of this woman. I don't know that she even really knew them. And now she's getting Kamiko. He started it. So he used to work for her anyway. This, this is my favorite. I just don't understand why she's kidnapping all of them and trying to kill one of his women. He didn't do anything. It's a big gun. She's dead. How did they not go through the dude? So brutal. She's so she doesn't have her... Or does she have her abilities? Because that dude shot that body 10, 15 times. And I'm pretty sure those bullets would have went through. But that dude just beat and beat and beat into her ribs and abdomen. She's moving around, so I wonder if... Her abilities are back, or if she just went into fight or flight mode. You missed me by about six inches. Why? My grandpa. The minute he was there, and then he wasn't. I gotta get this motherfucker out of my head. Wouldn't be a quick fix, but therapy would help a lot. Speaking from experience, not with a soldier boy throwing a car, but things. Haunting your evening and such. His name is Love Sausage. Fuck me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, he's That's very good at cunnilingus. Yeah, his tongue what is, is that? just... Yeah, he just gobbles that vagina right up. Nom, 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 cunnilingus? Nom, nom, nom. Together at one of their places to get their wicks wet. Stop. Wicks? Mm -hmm. oh. Come on. Come on, my that dude's thing is on fire. You know what's fucked up? Hmm. Is that it's real fucking sex workers. Wow. Oh, it's that guy again. What up, bro? Favorite um, fucking jacket. Go oh, that's... <laughs> that's a lady juice. That was a little dude. He just came out of that woman. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, and run. oh, shit. I feel like you would need a raincoat. I need a bathroom. And a raincoat. Yeah. That's Oh, okay. So gross. This is an actual orgy. That's what this is. Still a thing, eh? It's my thing. I founded it in 52. <laughs> Me and this other soup, Liberty. Man, was she a firecracker. Uh-oh. Three minutes. Oh, yeah, and he's naked. So he'll fit right nah, in. I'm gonna go find a salad to toss. I think I know what he means. Oh, your legs go on for days. Oh. What the Shit. fuck? It's not what it looks like. 
What are you doing here? Nothing. I'm not doing anything. Well, please, please, please stop, stop, stop. No. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Look. Swim here. It's his idea. Ah. Uh, hey, I know you like fucking soups, but I'm off the table. That's not why I'm here, okay? Um, uh, time for me right now. Poor job. It used to be, I don't know if Pornhub's still a thing, but I remember after YouTube started becoming popular, it was Xtube was where people went. Xtube, and it was garbage stuff. I mean, you could find inappropriate videos in a variety of places, but a lot of the people I knew that did that online went to Xtube. And then Pornhub, I think, people started using... For Robin. Oh yeah, he's souped up. You never apologized. I'm sorry. Is that what you want to hear? Cuz I am. I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry, Huey. <laughs> Huey, how did you do that? Come on, come on. <laughs> I like how it's the ladies' room. That's funny. So much in that one minute. I'm so glad that A Train gave him an apology because A Train is currently feeling. Somewhat like Huey felt after Robin, I think her name was. But A Train, I guess because he punched him in, it actually hurt A Train. A Train knows something's up. Not that you deserve the warning. And why is A Train come there? On, come on, come on. I guess, like everybody else, for a specific reason. Uh oh. Too late. Here. Stay out of the way. Is she naked too? Oh my God, you teleported me? What the fuck? <laughs> me the strong one. You always have to be so much stronger than me. I thought that you didn't care about that. I... But it does. After a while, if she was always the one saving him, I could see how Sometimes. that would get to you after a while. He didn't save her. Like, if she'd went up to Soldier Boy, what if he blasted her? He was trying to help her. Uh oh, what is that? What are you doing, MM? <laughs> Elephant. You killed my family. Which one? <laughs> Probably shouldn't have laughed at that. I just wasn't expecting that answer. Boy. We could probably could have benefited from speaking for a few more minutes. You're gonna do what? <laughs> You're such a fucking idiot. Ben. You fuck me. His name you is Ben. Selfish piece of shit. You are. I vaguely remember. Laura wouldn't take a shit without Vought say so. From what I remember of the Nicaragua, like when Soldier Boy died, when they were outside and there was some kind of attack. That's when Noir got really, really hurt, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I'm thinking of a separate um, event. But it seems like Noir got burned or something there. Oh no, it's that music again. Oh no. I'm not gonna let you. Whoa. Ah. They're naked and injured, and nobody's a soup anymore. Oh, the octopus. I don't want to hear it right now. I don't want to hear it right now. That is so funny. So, did everybody just lose their powers? We gotta talk. Jesus Christ, not right now. There's a lot of people. You hurt my brother. Did they lose their powers? Not this time. Or does he have to suck in like this stuff before he does it? Because when he did Kimiko, when she lost her powers, and then when he was around all those people, it was like things were like magnetized toward him before the burst came out. But on this occasion, and then the other most recent occasion, oh, when he was in front of his girlfriend, whatever her name was. 
Crimson. Crimson Tiders. Um, do they still lose their powers? Like, is everybody here? Yeah, because there's a bunch of people that are bloody, and if they were soups, they wouldn't be bloody, right? Whoa. Well, his work. better not have just killed A-Train off. Like, his go character's going through a lot, but... They just killed help him, me. didn't they? <laughs> the little man. Someone <laughs> please help! Uh, that was perfect. Oh yeah, Butcher was in there. Did he lose his powers? His temp powers? No, because A-Train still has his. So maybe it was only the people that the light actually went on? That must be it. Because A-Train wasn't down there, but the dude with the metal hat was. So it... What happened? Uh-oh. Big uh-oh. William Butcher. And Soldier Boy. William, we made a deal. To... What I'm afraid of right now is that Homelander is going to make it sound like Billy Butcher is crazy and anti-soup. Which he is. And that Soldier Boy is then going to team up with Homelander and go to the dark side. If if you were to call it a dark side. I really hope that doesn't happen. But I just have a feeling. It really is all about me. William, we made a deal to fight to the death. You and me. Buddy, you think you look strong? You're wearing a cape. <laughs> You're just a cheap fucking knockoff. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. The upgrade. Uh-oh. You really had me going for a minute there. Soldier Boy can't fly, can he? Boy. <laughs> what have you done? Mm. Scorch the earth. There's just so much going on. So many things happen in such a short amount of time, so I need to just, just back it up just a teeny bit. Uh, when did Butcher take his temp V? Like, how long ago? I guess it was that day, so he still has plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> Huey. Naked Huey. Takes three guys. Three soups, no less. Hold them all down. Why didn't he do it? Does it have to like charge up? He almost had him. He almost had him. And now, unfortunately, Homelander knows that Soldier Boy, Butcher, and Huey are all after him. And he also knows that Soldier Boy can hurt him because they all were trying to hold him down so Soldier Boy could do something. It's not good. So they've lost the element of surprise. Part of me wishes that Soldier Boy 
had successfully zapped him, but at the same time, then what happens to the show? Like, Homelander is one of the key elements of this show. So if he lost his powers, then what? Uh-oh. She's gonna go to social media? Telling the truth. 15 million people are watching that? But I'm going to keep doing it, and I should have done it sooner. My name is Annie January, and I fucking quit. Wow. Is there like a next time on? Because I would love to know what the next episode is. Yeah, but nope. No next time on. That episode was intense. Oh, that party was just a whole lot of... A whole lot of... A whole lot. Um, that was an intense episode. The fighting at the end was awesome. It was like, oh, you got to see a uh, souped but butcher fight with Homelander, which is something I feel like everybody has been wanting. And I hope that that happens again. But even souped up butcher greatly benefited from Soldier Boy being there. And then all three of them to hold Homelander down because Homelander is just the specific abilities that he has combined make him unusually difficult to beat, even for a soup. Um, so they were all trying to hold him down. The Soldier Boy could do the zap, but I wonder also if while they were holding him down, if Butcher couldn't have just done his eye thing into Homelander and just, you know, split him in half like, like gunpowder, um, so on the one hand, I was bummed that Soldier Boy was not able to do that blast, whatever it was, uh, because it took him a few seconds to charge it up or whatever. But at the same time, if he had removed Homelander's powers, then where would the show go from there? Unless Soldier Boy then became the villain. I am a little bummed that on her live stream, Starlight slash Annie, uh, pinpointed on Soldier Boy. Yes, he was the one that blew it. Um, but there's a part of me that hopes that he rises up and becomes, you know, the hero. But at this point now, he's killed 19 plus 12, 31 people unintentionally. So I think that that has, that is no longer an option. But I'm excited to see where this goes. And excited especially because Annie is done with the whole Vought thing so I feel like we'll see some different stuff from Annie. I'm just excited for the coming episodes. Anyway thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.